what is up y'all what is up i'm back i'm back i'm back okay girl so i'm feeling a lot better today thank you guys so much who wished me well in my comments in my last video um as i have said in my past few videos i am battling through some very rough <laughs> seasonal allergies right now so today is a better day so i'm going to go ahead and crank out a couple of videos so by the time you guys are watching this i will probably be filming the next one which will be the christmas candle roundup so please stay tuned for that please make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you are interested in bath and body works hauls hygiene hauls candle hauls and my upcoming fashion hauls as well as some really really fun creative things that i have coming to my channel soon so if you vibe with me if you want to be a part of the guru gang please make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned for my future content but without further ado you guys let's get into it okay so if you cannot already tell by this title and the thumbnail this is going to be my collective victoria's secret haul from their most recent fall body care lines um, between victoria's secret as well as pink I did also pick up a few pink items in a previous mashup haul, so I will revisit a couple of those as well. Even though I've already talked about them, I will revisit those um, and let you guys know how I feel about them, how I like them, and things like that. So let's jump right into it. So here's the first bag. So I went ahead and separated everything that was pink and put the pink stuff in a different bag. So this bag is gonna be all Victoria's Secret stuff. So this bag I picked up when they were having their buy two get three free deal for Victoria's Secret and then I also had a $20 off 50 reward card so each one of these ended up coming up to $5.98 which I feel like is a bomb deal for their miss so um yeah I picked up quite a few um I do want to mention this is not going to be like my Bath and Body Works fall rating video just because I feel like I just kind of picked up everything and decided what I liked when I got home. But this one, I've already tried these in the store. I've already kind of sprayed them, put the lotion on, whatever, and kind of formulated an opinion, so to speak. Um, and some of them I was on the fence about, but I picked them up. So whatever you don't see in this video, you guys, is just something that I didn't particularly vibe with. It might not have been terrible, but it just wasn't for me. So I'm not gonna even waste my time <laughs> talking about those. But the stuff that's here, we are gonna dive deep, okay? so. Let's start with Nectar Drip Girl. First of all, get into the packaging, okay? So pretty, so pretty. I feel like Victoria's Secret is like, even though Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret are owned by the same company, Victoria's Secret is like the grown woman and Bath & Body Works is like, you know, the preteen, the adolescent, the college student, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like Victoria's Secret always has the really sexy packaging, like the floral packaging, the little gold cap, like, this is the type of stuff that just looks bomb on the vanity. And I um, have not like picked up a whole lot of Victoria's Secret items, y'all, like at least in the past year or so. So I was like, let me go ahead and revisit them. Um, I feel like m most of the collections that I've purchased from them have been like, they're more sweet centered collections. Like I think I did a haul and some stuff a few years ago y'all so it's it's been a little while <laughs> since I revisited some like more recent Victoria's Secret stuff. So this one I really, really liked. And y'all, as soon as I smelled it, first of all, let me tell y'all the notes. The notes are Autumn Jasmine Dances with Praline and Nectar, Decadence Delights. Oh, y'all, as soon as I smelled this, it is, I, listen, I don't have it in my collection anymore because I used it up. But y'all, when I tell y'all the first thing I thought of as soon as I smelled this was Bath & Body Works Golden Honey Praline from the Tutti Dolce collection. Y'all, if this is not a complete repackage, which Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret do, you know, every now and again, they'll repackage one of each other's scents and call it something completely different, y'all. Like, I'll say this has maybe a little bit more of a floral, like the jasmine maybe comes through a little bit more in here. But girl, this is like the closest thing that I have smelled to the golden honey praline from Bath and Body Works. And as you guys know, we have not seen the Tutti Dolce line since that collection It's completely vanished, it's gone away. We've seen things come fairly close like the Bright Lemon Snowdrop, you know, but coming close to the uh, Sweet Lemon Buttercup. But for the most part, you guys, we have not seen that collection come back. And of course, we have been asking and telling Bath and Body Works, please bring that collection back. But I promise you guys, if you like the golden honey praline, this is so close like 
I really wish I still had it in my collection so that I could do a side by side, but I feel like this is super, super close to that, you guys. So if you have the Golden Honey Praline in your collection still, do a smell by do a smell side by side comparison. You guys let me know what you think, but I feel like this literally as soon as I smelled it, because I wore Golden Honey Praline down to the ground, y'all. Like I feel like I wore all of the Tutti Dochi scents equally from that line, but that one was definitely like the most easy reach for me because it was a very sweet but almost like authentic honey scent so it almost had that kind of like natural smell to it that natural honey smell to it and it went really really well with my body chemistry and i get the same vibe from this one where the honey and the praline come together to where it's very sweet but it gives you like that natural skin sweet if that makes sense like almost kind of like animalic where it's like the musk comes through in here and it just comes through like if you've ever smelled um, DKNY's Nectar Love, that's another perfume that I feel like kind of smells similar to this or Marc Jacobs Honey. Like it's just that very authentic, non-artificial honey scent. Oh, Y'all, it smells so good, like a honeycomb almost. And then the praline just sweetens it up and gives it almost like a caramelly type of vibe with the jasmine. Y'all, this smells so good like to the point where when i wore this the day that i wore this i was getting like followed by like insects because i'm thinking i was smelling like real honey so i definitely will probably wear this more when it gets a little bit colder so i'm not attracting bugs but yes this one was definitely my favorite pickup well i won't say my favorite pickup but i was super super excited to pick this up um and this is the royal gardens collection by the way so this is like their floral sweet collection but yeah, y'all, I was seeing reviews compare this to um, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy and saying that it was a dupe, but girl, this is not a dupe. I know we all, <laughs> I know we all pick up different things, but I feel like sometimes people are so quick to call something a dupe. Like this is not a dupe for Love Don't Be Shy. There's no marshmallow in here. There's no orange blossom. Like I do smell a little bit of like a citrusy vibe in here, but I really think that's just how the honey is coming through um and the jasmine petals like i just i'm I'm not getting any type of love don't be shy in here so maybe i don't know maybe people are smelling the jasmine or whatever citrus is in here and they're confusing it with orange blossom which that might 100 percent 100 percent be possible but girl this does not smell like love don't be shy to me but it smells really really bomb and i am super happy to have this i probably will go back and pick up another spray um, I am not a fan of Victoria's Secrets lotions though, so I kind of held off on the lotion. I may or may not pick it up. Maybe if they have it on sale during their semi-annual sale, I'll pick it up. But for now, I didn't really feel the need to have the lotion, so yeah. Okay, you guys, and then the next one in the Royal Gardens collection, which is one I, I guess that's like really popular right now, this is the Crushed Petals. This is Rose and Vanilla Caviar. Um, and the notes are April Rose Falls with Vanilla and Current um, rom Romance Bloom. So y'all, I was really excited to try this one because I love Vanilla and Current. Um, I feel like, you know, Black Raspberry Vanilla from Bath & Body Works, like, or the um, Black Current Vanilla, their aromatherapy line. Like, I am a huge fan of both of those scents. I was like, okay, this is probably going to be something that I like, even though it says there's rose in here. Again, I've been telling you guys like a lot of perfumes that I've been picking up lately. They've had rose in them, but I've been enjoying them because they have like some sort of a sweet aspect added to it. So I actually was very, very impressed with this one, you guys. This is just a very, very pretty scent. I'm definitely getting apricot and uh, black, like a black currant. Yeah, y'all, this one smells really good. I really, really like this one. It's definitely a smooth, like, creamy, black currant, apricot type of note. It, the rose just kind of adds, like, a hint of sophistication. But for the most part, you guys, I'm definitely getting a jammy, apricot, black currant, like, mashup with that vanillic, that vanillic type of undertone and just kind of, like, a touch of rose in here. But yeah, y'all, this smells really, really good. I have a bunch of things that I already know off the top of my head. I'm probably going to layer with this. So this is definitely going to be a very, very nice like fall, like date night type of spray or, you know, something that you can use to top off your like more expensive perfumes with. Like this definitely smells like a perfume layerable type of scent. Um, so yeah, I really like this one as well, you guys. As the next one I picked up is, of course, a OG 
fave from Victoria's Secrets, and that is Velvet Petals. The notes in Velvet Petals are Lush Blooms, Almond Glaze, Made You Blush. So honestly, I have not, um, I have a Velvet Petals from their like midnight collection. I can't even remember like the exact name of the collection, but it was like that black packaging and the Velvet Petals came in like a pink type of, um, it was pink, but it had like vines and stuff over it. It wasn't the Untamed collection. It was like another one. There was like Midnight Ivy and some other stuff in that line. So I have not owned Velvet Petals since then because I still have that bottle and I'm trying to actually use that up this month. So I'm almost done with it. So I went ahead and picked up Eden another little bottle of it. And Velvet Petals is just literally like the most pretty, sweet, easy reach Victoria's Secret scent to me. I know all of the other ones kind of have like a fruity nuance to them and some of them can come across a little generic and remind you of just like stuff that you wore in like middle school and high school. Um, but I feel like Velvet Petals is definitely one of those super easy reach like grab and go layerable add any type of sweet pretty layer to anything that you are wearing. Um, and it's just something that I always get compliments on too as well. Definitely like a non-offensive type of scent. Like it's not something that's going to throw anyone off. Like you can easily wear this to work. You can wear this to a doctor's appointment. Like this is literally just a very pretty sweet type of floral scent. I mean, I literally have no other way to describe it. There's like a little bit of nuttiness from the almond, but it's like an almond cream type of vibe. So it just smells really, really good, you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up that really old bottle that I have, which surprisingly, it still smells really good. Like I feel like my Victoria's Secrets fine fragrance mist last way longer in scent than my Bath and Body Works ones do. So I don't know. That's my personal opinion, girl. But um, yeah, I really, really love this one. So I'm happy to have a brand new replacement bottle in my collection. Okay, you guys. And of course, since we're talking about classics, I did go ahead and pick up another Amber Romance. I have not had this in my collection in quite a while. And I forgot how much I love this scent. If you are not familiar, the notes are Deep Amber, Sugar Kisses, Chasing Sunset. So guys, if you, if you guys have not heard me talk about some of my favorite scent notes and perfumes before um amber is definitely one of them i love amber and scents i feel like it really gives your sense depth it really anchors your sense down similarly to like a patchouli or similarly to like any type of woody note i feel like amber is just a very sweet resinous type of scent that really gives sense that type of smell that i want this is just a very sweet powdery amber like that's literally what I smell if you like amber you will definitely love this if you like powdery scents you will definitely love this it's just very pretty and again something that is going to layer great with a bunch of other ambery vanilla type of perfumes or even perfumes that don't contain either of those notes that you want to add a different type of element to I definitely feel like amber romance she is that girl she's right up there with velvet petals to me if you are an amber fan so yeah okay you guys now this one is from the victoria's secrets golden collection and this one i actually did get a lotion for because i really really liked it and i feel like this would be a good base layer but this is victoria's secret bare vanilla golden the notes are sugar tonka orchid blossom and bare vanilla at golden hour i feel like i'm going to be kind of repetitive in the way that i'm talking about these scents because i feel like all of these at least in this particular the royal gardens and you know the core collection as well as the golden collection i feel like all of these are scents that i will use to add layers to other things um you can most certainly wear this on its own this will definitely be a good bedtime type of scent i'm definitely getting a very very deep sugary tonka type of scent and this is definitely going to be perfect in the fall layered with any type of other scent that you want to add some sweetness to but not like that light fluffy sweet but more of like that a little bit more of like that sticky sweet kind of feel like it almost has like a praline caramelly type of vibe going where it's like more of a caramelized tonka like a caramelized like sugary sweet type of tonka bean smell so 
this is des definitely not like your basic vanilla. There's a little bit of like a woodiness happening with it. So yeah, I really, really like this one. A very, very sexy vanilla. And like I said, I did pick up the lotion. I feel like Victoria's Secret's lotions are not all that great. Um, so I only picked up one. So I don't know. We'll try it, see how it goes. But I would probably put this on top of a thicker body cream or body oil. So that's why I only picked up one. Everything else I just got off fine fragrance mist because I knew I would use those up. So yeah. Okay, you guys. Now on to this collection, which I guess is like their Halloween collection or their fall collection, whatever. Um, so this is the Moon Spiced Apple. The notes are Ruby Apple reveals warm maple sugar crystal ginger galaxy. Now y'all. I will say in the store when I first in the store when I first sprayed this I didn't like it okay because while I could smell the apple and the brown sugary maple goodness the ginger in here totally turned me off like I literally had to spray it a few times walk around spray it a few times and I just kept saying like oh my god that ginger that ginger like the ginger in here definitely to me makes this scent be unusually bitter like the first few minutes but I do feel like once you give it a, a chance to dry down it definitely has that sexy mapley apple type of scent it will go really really well with a bunch of other fall apple scents like I definitely prefer this in the dry down over like champagne apple and honey just because I feel like champagne apple and honey is kind of starting to give me that generic apple smell um, and I feel like this is definitely an apple that's a little bit more sexy, a little bit more complex, definitely has some layers. Um, but I am not really a fan of the ginger. I really feel like I wish they would have taken the ginger out, honestly, um, or maybe did like cardamom or something instead. But either way, I like it, you guys. I just prefer it like after it's dried down because if you don't like ginger, I don't really recommend this um or I would say give it a few minutes to dry down before you add other things to it but yeah that is a moon spiced apple I've seen people compare this to be like like an apple-y um like pie or like apple-y type of dessert type of smell um to me I don't really get that I don't really get like a bready dessert kind of vibe I'm really just getting a very spicy mapley apple type of scent but either way it does it does still smell sweet and gourmand I just wouldn't necessarily say that it reminds me of like a pie or a pastry or anything because I don't really smell any type of like bready or buttery type of notes so yeah the next one that I picked up is the night glowing vanilla so I don't know why but like from the packaging you guys I was really expecting this to be like a vanilla berry type of scent but I was actually pleasantly surprised by this because the notes in this are vanilla lights up in iris petal sky, pink pepper twilight. So I feel like I've kind of recently told you guys um, in my past few layering videos, as much as I love, you know, vanilla, sweet gourmand type of scents, I also am super, super into powdery florals, especially in the fall. Um, I really just love the way like iris and mimosa and just all of the really like violet like all of the really pretty powdery sweet florals those are totally my vibe in the fall time and I was super super pleasantly surprised by this one I don't really get like a sweet sweet vanilla I would say but I'm definitely getting a very powdery floral type of note in here and then that pink pepper, which is another one of my favorite notes for the fall. It gives it like a little tiny bit of like a kick. I wouldn't even say it's spicy in here, but it definitely gives it kind of a sweet little kick. So it's not just completely a powdery floral, but it gives it a little bit more of a dark, you know, mysterious kind of vibe. But yeah, I really, really like this one, you guys. I'm excited to layer this with a bunch of scents that I have. I actually have a couple in mind so of course if y'all want a layering video with some of these victoria's secret scents y'all let me know in the comments below because y'all know i will happily do one um but yeah i'm already kind of brewing some things in my head and i've already tried a couple out with this and i totally totally love this the only thing i will say you guys though about these victoria's secret body mists as a whole they do not provide the best longevity so 
if I ever do wear these by themselves, I'm usually like completely dousing my clothes in it and just spraying my clothes with it. Otherwise, I'm always using this in combination with some other perfume or Bath and Body Works mist just so just because I don't feel like these have the best performance overall so yeah okay you guys and then the last one which obviously is my favorite because i picked up two of the mists this is the star smoked amber the notes are amber dahlia sparks a marshmallow halo crackling cedar wood so y'all this literally combines three different aspects in fragrance notes that i love amber marshmallow and then a woody vibe to anchor it down y'all i already knew i already knew i was gonna love this one. Oh my god y'all it smells so good it smells so good y'all it smells so good it reminds me a lot of the commodity milk plus line because that line also has a very deep sensual like roasted marshmallow note and that's what i'm getting in here but the way that it's mixed with the amber almost gives me like a butterscotch type of vibe like a roasted butterscotch type of vibe i don't know y'all it's coming across like really caramelly really sweet like just gooey like roasted marshmallow type of vibe it smells really good y'all and then of course the woods in here is giving it a sexiness about it so it's a really sweet sexy type of vibe for sure the marshmallow in here definitely gives it that fluffy sweet airiness a little slight powdery vibe but overall i would say this is a sweet sweet fine fragrance mist so yeah this is probably the sweetest of all of the mists in this collection to me it smells so good y'all it's so sweet and sexy it's just like i love it i love this one so much y'all okay y'all so the victoria's secret portion of this is over so now we are going to move on to pink which surprisingly is my biggest bag so let's get into it so first of all let me tell y'all about this amazing thing that happened when i went in there right so this pink stuff was purchased on a totally different day um i think this was the day it was like the early shopping or whatever the member early shop day for the love your body event that's currently going on right now where all of the mists are 7.95 and for whatever reason you guys on top of that there's also a 15 dollars off 75 dollar um, coupon inside of the app as well if you are a part of the pink nation app or you are a credit card holder and y'all for whatever reason my associate i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see can y'all see that four dollars and eighty cents four dollars and eighty cents girl i don't know what happened i don't know what happened but my girl rang me up for everything i guess the deal discount she rang me up for the two for twelve mini miss deal instead which mind you these are all full size items except for like one thing that i threw in there to get me to 75 dollars but i was like so confused i was like how is this ringing up way cheaper than what i thought it was going to be i'm looking at my receipt y'all she rang me up for the two for 12 and not the 7.95 was i mad about it no did i say anything no ma'am because guess what y'all i had to wait in that line literally for 30 minutes that day because they were super super short staff so y'all do not be going off on the retail workers okay all of these stores are doing what they can to try and staff people and trust me i know because i have a whole bunch of retail recruiters trying to re-recruit re -recruit me back into retail for the holiday season like people are struggling out here to find help so please be nice to your retail workers but yes girl i stood in line for 30 minutes i didn't complain so i guess this is my blessing girl because this stuff was supposed to ring up 7.95 but she rang me up for the two for 12 and then i had a 15 dollar off $75 purchase so all of these items ended up being $4.80 a piece a piece which is literally like semi-annual sale prices y'all so I'm happy I got as much as I did because obviously I'm not going to be able to go back in the store and get this deal because it was a complete freak accident but I'm not mad at it hey you guys so while I did not pick these up during this particular haul I did want to revisit this particular collection um the basic vanilla it went back girl it went back literally like the scent i could not smell it after like 20 seconds okay but basic vanilla she's gone basic pumpkin 
she's gone. I had the same issues with both of those, you guys, where it was like, I would put it on and I would catch a whiff and I'm like, oh, okay, this smells really good. The scent was gone literally 30 seconds later, y'all. And what was crazy was I actually really do like pink's lotions compared to, um, compared to Victoria's Secret lotions, which they're like a lot more like watery. And the pink lotions are more of like a creamy type of vibe to me. But yeah, y'all, those two scents literally dissipated. And honestly, I still kind of feel the same way about this one. But I think this scent, for whatever reason, as I've been wearing it, y'all, it is reminding me so much of a perfume that I have in my collection. And I have not been able to pinpoint what it is at the current moment. But I have actually been really into this scent lately. As you guys can see, I've kind of put a nice little size dent in here. So I do have to completely douse myself down in it. Um, but yeah, I do really, really like the scent. It's definitely a very clean, woody type of vanilla. Like this could definitely be a unisex type of vibe because it has a little bit of a woody undertone to it. I wouldn't even really say I'm smelling the toasted hazelnut. I mean, I guess that's probably what the woodiness is that I'm smelling, but I don't know, y'all. This is definitely just a very cozy type of scent. This would be a great bedtime scent. Um, but I find myself just reaching this and, you know, kind of throwing it on top of whatever my perfume combo for the day is just because it does add a little bit of that vanillic woody type of vibes that I like in my perfume. So that's the only reason why I did not take this one back, you guys, because again, the longevity on this one is trash as well. But I do really, really like the scent. So I did want to keep this one. So yeah, that is Vanilla Cloud. Now, on to one that I kind of overlooked the last time I was in there. I did smell the orange meadows and it did smell really good. It was kind of like a blood orange, like, you know, florally type of vibe. And it, I did like it, it was nice, but I don't think it was something that I was gonna reach for. So I left that one behind, but I did pick up the Setter or Cedar Woods. The notes in this one are Misty Waterfall and Fresh Vetiver. So y'all, I'm starting to learn on my fragrance journey. I love vetiver. Y'all, this smells so good. If you like clean, woody, powdery scents, this is so bomb to me. This is definitely not this is definitely not blind by safe, I would say. You have to know that you like these types of scents, but I definitely think this is worth trying. This is another one that I feel like could absolutely be unisex. It just has such a unique type of scent, especially for this to be a pink scent. This is absolutely a, a clean, powdery. I don't know, y'all. This smells really sexy to me. It smells like there's also some musk in here. It just smells really, really good. I really, really like this one. And it's kind of hard to identify, but I would definitely classify this as a powdery, woody type of scent. And it is perfect for the fall. So, yeah, I went ahead and picked up the lotion and the fine fragrance mist. Um, I'm hearing that this one and the Orange Meadows have the best longevity out of all of the other ones in this collection. So I'm hoping that this one gives me, you know, some better performance than the other ones. So yeah. And then followed up with this one, which actually reminds me a lot of the Cedar Woods for whatever reason. Um, this is the Soft and Dreamy. I actually picked this one up just because I was at $72 and I needed to get to $75 and this was at the register. So I just threw it in my bag. But the notes in this are Violet Petals, Fresh Peony, and Sunkissed Woods. And I'm actually glad I picked this up because now I kind of want to go back for this one in particular. I smelled the Warm and Cozy and it did smell nice, but I feel like I don't know. I feel like it was like super, super kind of a fruity vibe. Like it almost gave me like a tropical vibe in my opinion. So I was like, I'm not probably, I'm probably not going to really wear that in the fall, but this one definitely with the violet petals and the peony, those are like two of my favorite floral notes mixed with the sun-kissed woods, which I've told you guys before, I love woody notes. So this is almost like a more feminine version of the cedar woods, like with the peony and the violet in here. It's got that clean powdery type of vibe. And this is just really, really pretty, you guys. This is definitely an easy reach, pretty girl scent. I'm definitely going to throw this in my car, get through it, and I will probably pick up a full size at some point. I'll probably wait till semi-annual sale just because I think I'm good with all of these as my starter Victoria's Secret scents for the fall. Um, and that is kind of my scent, right? That is kind of my strategy right now with, with body care going forward. If something new comes out, I may get one of them, try it out, see how I like it, and just add it to my semi-annual sale list if I feel like I need backups of it. So yeah, 
that is soft and dreamy. Then I picked up two products in the Honey line, which I actually already have and I've already tried. I love. Um, I have not tried the Honey Oil yet, so I'm excited to try this, see how I like it. But the Honey Body Butter, the Honey Scrub, and the Honey Lotion, I love. I actually find these pink bottles to be super, super moisturizing, y'all. I feel like my favorite, like, honey body care scent ever is the Bath & Body Works Coco Shea Honey. And I feel like since that is discontinued, this is the closest, closest, closest thing that I'm going to get to that. Every time I wore that scent, I got so many compliments. And same with this. It's just a very sweet authentic honey type of scent and it just smells really good really warm really inviting this is the type of scent that when someone gives you a hug they're going to remember your scent it's just a very natural crowd pleasing type of scent and i love using this as a base for so many different things so i'm excited to now add the oil to my rotation and see how i like this as well as another of the lotions so yeah okay girl now the rest of the stuff in this bag which is so many things is of a scent that I I'm not gonna say I slept on I just have not gotten around to smelling it and I've been meaning to but I wasn't really pressed because I was like oh it's a coconut scent it's gonna smell summery so I just kind of kept putting it off but y'all the cocoa vanilla this is literally like my new favorite pink scent y'all Oh my God, this smells like one of my favorite perfumes ever, which is the Coco Vanille from Mansara. <sighs> Y'all, it's like a coconut vanilla cookie. It also reminds me a little bit of like Mary Cookie or that vanilla snowflake candle where it just has that like coconutty cookie goodness y'all this smells so freaking good to me and y'all I went a little crazy I did I got two of the body butters because again all this was four dollars and eighty cents did I know it was going to ring up four dollars and eighty cents when I grabbed it no but the fact that it did made this so much more satisfying so I got two body butter two of the mists which by the way the notes in this are coconut cream vanilla bean and spiced pear i personally don't smell like a whole lot of the pear like it's there but for the most part you guys i am just getting a creamy vanilla coconutty type of scent and oh my god i love this so much so yes i got two mists two of the body oils okay because when i tell y'all i already know i'm about to be using this literally every day so i was like let me just go ahead and get back up at two of the full-size lotions which apparently these are supposed to be like online exclusive or something i don't know but my store had like literally everything in this line so girl i racked up and honestly i will probably go through this so fast over the next few months that whenever semi-annual sale comes back around i hope that this line goes on sale it probably won't because it seems like it's one of the core scents but girl I am in love with this and this lotion again is super super moisturizing I haven't used any of the other products yet um, but I have already used this lotion I used it in store and like it was super moisturizing it smelled really good and I just completely fell in love with this scent girl so yeah all right you guys that is it for this Victoria's Secret pink haul I hope I inspired some of you guys to go out and try some of these scents because better late than never i am just now getting around to trying some of these and for the most part i'm very very pleased i'm pleased overall i feel like victoria's secret has come out with a more diverse and interesting collection this year as opposed to bath and body works but either way i'm not mad at either one of them i have my faves from bath and body works of course and now i have some new favorite scents from victoria's secret that i'm super super excited to incorporate into some of my routines so that is all i have for you guys please stay tuned because y'all know my next video is going to be my christmas candle chat so please stay tuned for that and i will see you guys in my next video bye